Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be setting up a reverse proxy using AWS CloudFront. A reverse proxy is a way to route traffic from your application to Postdoc using a external service that's less likely to be blocked by tracking blockers. AWS CloudFront is a content delivery network that makes it super easy to set up reverse proxies. And I'm gonna show you how to do all this in this video. The first thing you see here is that we have a basic Next.js site here. When we refresh, we've added Postdoc to it. So we'll see that some events come in here as well. This is just a very basic setup. When we go to this Next.js app, we'll see that events are being sent to the app.postdoc.com domain. So when we refresh here, we can look at the requests and we see some requests here that are going to app.posthog.com. And these could be potentially blocked by trackers. So we're going to set up a way to use CloudFront to replace this and we'll route the traffic that gets sent to CloudFront to Posthog. To do this, you're going to need to sign in to your AWS account and then you're going to search for CloudFront here. And then we'll go to CloudFront and we'll click create distribution. We're gonna choose for our origin domain. We're gonna set it to app.posthog.com. If you're on the EU cloud, you can set it to eu.posthog.com. And we're gonna select HTTPS only and all kind of the default options here. Next, we're gonna go down to the default cache behavior. We're going to go to the allowed HTTP methods and we're gonna select all of them here. So all of these options and we also want options allowed here. And then next thing we're going to do is set up a cache policy. So we can click create cache policy here. We'll name the cache policy origin cores. We'll keep the defaults here. And then for headers, we're going to select the following headers. We're going to select authorization and origin. For query strings, we're going to check all, and that's all we want. So we're going to click create, and we're gonna head back to CloudFront here, the uh, distribution we're creating. We'll refresh here, and then we'll see our custom origin cores policy is available, and we'll select that one. For origin request policy, we'll choose cores custom origin. And then response headers policy, we'll choose cores with pre-flight and security headers policy. And then we're going to select none of these here. We won't select a firewall. And that is all we need to do. So we'll just click create distribution here. We'll get a domain name here. We can just copy this domain name and then we'll head to our code and set this up. One important thing you wanna make sure to do is make sure that it is actually deployed. So it's not going to be ready right away once you've created it, but once it is deployed here, we'll copy the domain name and then we'll head back to our code here and we can go to the app.posthog.com and the API host and we'll delete this and we'll add the CloudFront distribution. We'll save that and we'll head back to our Next.js app We'll refresh here and scroll down. And now we'll see that the request URL is no longer app.posthog.com, but our CloudFront distribution. And when we go to events, we'll still see that we have events coming in here. So we can click the docs link as proof. And we should see in a couple seconds here, an event with all the relevant information come in here. So there it is. So that's all for this video on how to set up a reverse proxy with AWS CloudFront. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out postdoc.com slash tutorials for more tutorials about postdoc. Thanks for watching.